So um, this is the Spin Your Fedora exhibit talk. It's also going to be a workshop. Uh, so uh, get one of the handouts, please. Um, so uh, how many people here have earned the Booth Sitting Badge? I it well, I mean, it. sat in a booth. No. How about four okay. here? Yeah. And uh, how many people have um, have a favorite spin? Okay, good. So um, this is going to be part workshop. So I'd like everybody to introduce themselves with their name and their exhibit they've sat at and their favorite spin. And I'll start. I'm Jeff Sandys, and I've done the. Linux Fest Northwest for the last six years, and my favorite spin is Fedora Jam. So, uh, I'm Dan Williams. Uh, everybody knows me on RRC, a Southern gentleman. Oh. Uh, I, I produced the Fedora live respins for since SC5, one way or another. Either doing the full DVD respin or now I'm doing the live respins. Uh, currently, I'm using Mate more than any Antonio, whichever way you want to pronounce mm -hmm. it. I'm using that personally more than anything else, and that's okay. usually what I'm giving my grad students who want a women's laptop. Cool. Because no, I like no, but it's just too much. If they want to explore it and then come asking questions how to do something, that's one thing. But when I got a room full of grad students, I just not enough. And the events that I've done, Ohio Linux Express, Southeast Linux Express, Boston. We've done them all. <laughs> Basically, it's ain't on the East Coast I've done. Okay. And you? So, uh, scale. Scale. Um, Troy Dawson. Uh, the only booth I've sat in was an open shift booth, but I've always wanted to do a scientific doing something. Awesome. Uh, my favorite spin is Alex TV right now. Okay, and I'm interested in kind of the specialized spins like scientific. So great, I'm glad you're here. And you? I have uh, I've um, been involved with the that stuff. Uh, with oh, good, good. I'm, I'm a big fan of one laptop for child, and you'll see that coming up. Okay. Um, so. Why do we do this? Why why do we get up early in the morning, haul the dang door box to a table, set up, stand there, talk to people, listen to people all day long? Hmm? What? Well, why do you do? What do you get out of it? Well, uh, I get up. We're inducing the door to people who, hey, a maybe have never heard of Linux in the first place. Mm -hmm. I can stand there and ask, answer questions. I can demo it. Uh, usually, when I do a booth, I have a multi. I make the multi uh, live ISO and put it on a laptop. So if somebody's got a question about LXDE or no, we can build it up in, into that live and, and show it to them. Good, good. Okay. New? Yeah. Uh, the one time I sat in the booth, I got paid for those people at the conference, and there was a booth there. And <laughs> <laughs> so you got paid. That's an excellent reason. Yeah. Uh, I guess I'm asking the same question. Okay. It's, it's uh, it, it does seem like the money question is actually kind of related. Because we all know the stereotypes. Yeah. Booth dudes get well paid. Well, yeah. Booth dudes don't. Yeah. <laughs> Well, you know, for me, I, I enjoy sharing, you know, and I enjoy the experience that I have. So, uh, what is uh, Fedora? Why, why do they actually pay, you know, registration fees to have us sitting at a table? What are they getting out of us sitting there? What do you think? Well, it's advertisement because yeah. the more we, people we get to use Fedora, let's be truthful. We're yep. the research and development yeah. branch for Red Hat. Yeah. So the more people we get using Fedora, 
and come back as contributors helps Red Hat in the long run. Mm-hmm. That's why Red Hat supports all these other conferences. Get their name out there and get the federal name out there. Yeah. You have any ideas? So I, I'm usually a tender, as I suppose, on the other side of things. As an attender of a conference, I appreciate there being a booth there. I appreciate the person sitting there so that if I have the question on whatever product it is, uh, I have somebody I can go talk to. Sometimes, maybe 50% of the time, they don't know the actual answer, but they can get me in contact with the person. Yeah, yeah. And you? Yeah, I think it's weird. Uh, people have to get you to come. You? Get human? Yeah. Oh. Get human dot com has been around for over a decade. When you're sick of an anonymous company, it will get you immediate access to a human being within their eight hundred number. Oh. You just put in any company and it will tell you the numbers that that company is suppressing yeah. keep you away from human beings. Oh, that's and, and it's the same idea. We yeah. Human to be better than humans. Mm-hmm. People don't necessarily want to be the eight hundred number operator, but I mean we do need that. That's that means something. Yeah. You've never been in the pound for door channel, have you? <laughs> so, and then a, a, again, okay, this is kind of going back to Maslow's hierarchy of needs, and it, it really I'm trying to understand that. So, what does the guests want? Why why do they go spend their day going to a conference, walking around all the booths? What what are they getting out? Swag. Swag. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, this is yeah, that's only twenty five percent of it, but that is a big, yes. big chunk. Even if, even if you just have a sticker, uh, information is what I mean. <coughs> information and well, information and network. Yes. So mm-hmm. you know who to talk to later on. Yeah, you have an, any other ideas? Oh, just just repeating. Yeah. Uh, community. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, they do. I, I kind of think that um, when that guy goes to work on Monday, what what is he going to talk about? You know, he, you know, I went to this Linux fest and I saw. What are they going to say they saw? You know, the door you went to Red Hat, OpenSUSE. Well, the, the thing that will come up first is the thing that gave them the most memorable experience. Okay, so that's. That's what I think is the common denominator of all these things that I like exhibiting because it gives me a very pleasant and memorable experience. Fedora wants people to have a memorable experience. Remember Fedora. And the guest wants to come and have a good experience and remember something. And we hope they remember something. Okay, so the goal is really Let's give the guests a memorable experience. And if you, I think if, as a Fedora booth trying to cover everything, that you're not going to do that. I think as, with a spin, you can focus on the depth and um, get and focus on an experience. And um, you're going to lose some people who aren't interested in what your spin is about. But considering the large group of people that attend, the, there's going to be a large percentage that will have some interest in your spin, be it security, scientific, uh, music, design, whatever. Okay? So what I'm trying to do here with this workshop is let's create some guides to help people make an exhibit based on the spin. Okay? So uh, this is the graphic that uh, the design team made for us for our uh, Linux Fest Northwest. Uh, Brian Monroe um, did a music spin, did the Fedora Jam spin at scale, and it was hugely successful. And, and I had intended to do music at Linux Fest, so Brian helped me out. Um, We've got a real nice graphic made for it. 
And the, the things I want to focus on here is uh, the entry level applications. So um, we, we want to give our guests an entry level application, something that if they use uh, Windows or Mac or uh, just kind of generally interested in the subject, they would look at it and kind of understand it. So uh, for our exhibit, we use uh, Audacity. Uh, it's a really simple uh, recording program. We have mic. Person could uh, sing into the mic. We could play it back. We could add an effect. Um, it was very easy for a person to use. Okay. And then, but you also need to address the power users, the expert users. So we showed Ardor, which is a full feature um, recording studio, digital audio workstation. You can actually mix, uh, sync it with movies and everything. And uh, also Guitar X and uh, Jack, of course. You need Jack when you're working with high level music applications. Okay. And uh, showed off the Tam Tam uh, Mini and the Tam Tam Synth Lab. This is an awesome application. You should know that, right? Your work with Sugar. Um, those little green things really bring people into the table, especially young people and families. So these are the, the people that we really want to engage to, to help spread um, Linux. We want uh, hands-on activities. You want to give some people something physical to do, to, to touch something. So. Um, we didn't have any contests. We were thinking of having um, a guitar riff contest or a drum riff contest or a karaoke type contest. Karaoke is kind of hard because of the copyright thing Fedora doesn't like getting involved with. But um, give some something hands on for people to do. So that's going to create a more memorable experience. And uh, the specialized hardware. If you're a geek, and uh, you're interested in that subject, there's some special equipment that you're gonna want to look at and have your hands on and ask questions about. Having that on your table is gonna draw people in to, to uh, talk to you. And the swag. You gotta be able to give stuff out. And you want to give out something unique and memorable, something that when they look at that later on, they're going to say, yeah, that was Fedora Jam. We, I tried to get these printed and couldn't get them printed on time, so I hand wrote Fedora Jam on uh, a gross of guitar picks and had those out. Um, you got to have a business card. And uh, hand those out so people ask questions. I like putting on a USB stick, uh, have it available. If somebody's gonna spend a half an hour talking to you, you wanna give them something even like extra special, you know? If you pull a USB out. Uh, and you can think of like value added things. Is, is there something that you do uh, that you could like put on that USB stick or share with um, the guests? Uh, Brian had a whole bunch of patches for Guitar X. He sound just just like um, Slash and YouTube with his uh, echo, and he was playing a ambient drone thing, and, and he had all those patches in Guitar X, and he was sharing them with the guests that came through our booth. Did you ever use a, a CD for business card, like Fedora? Yes. I haven't. Yes. You you have. Uh, I, I like the paper yeah. ones. It's I so easy easy to reach in your pocket and uh, hand them out. Do the business card, but I do put up a page with my uh, Fedora mailing list mm -hmm. and uh, my RC channel channels that I'm in, and I've got you know. It's something when you go to a conference and you've been there for seven years and the conference staff says, oh, it sounds like you might like the door. Go talk to this person. 
Mm -hmm. Come with me and I'll introduce you to this group. Yeah, yeah. Uh, several conferences I get, I've been going to for the last five or six years, and they'll say, oh, Ben's here. You'll talk to him. He'll help you get it set up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And, uh, lady at self, she had been trying to install Fedora <laughs> and couldn't get it installed. Oh, yeah. I'm kind of surprised about that. The, the other thing about focusing on a specific topic is it opens you up to give your exhibit at other places than Linux Fest. I mean, going to a Linux Fest is kind of like preaching to the choir, isn't it? What you'd like to do, uh, scientific exhibit, um, you could go to the um, PySci, what, what is the, the Python scientific uh, one and show Fedora there. Uh, sugar on a stick. You could go to an educational conference, show Fedora there. These are all opportunities to expose Fedora to people that are outside the the realm that we normally involve ourselves with. And this this is a good thing. Okay, so we, we want to take Fedora Jam to NAM. Um, that's the National Music uh, National Association for Music Manufacturers Music. Merchants and uh, Fedora Jam is, in a way, a merging old offering. Um, we're having some political issues with Red Hat to try to do that. And that's why we're going to attend the next talk on what does Red Hat want. Uh, yeah, that's not good. So, legal is saying no, or so to get. To be a member of NAM, you have to show that you've sold. Um, you you have to show three receipts to three different music companies. Now Red Hat probably uh, runs the servers for Fender or Gibson or Moog, or but they're not going to release those invoices. Right. Okay. So okay, it's not Red Hat is blocking you. It's NAM is blocking. Well, yeah, and so we're trying to work our way around that. We think there might be some other ways, but right now we tried to get to NAM this year and we couldn't do it because we couldn't get a membership in time. So we're going to try next year. I was going to say, make sure you come to my family. I'll make sure you get some funding. Okay. Um, so uh, let's see. We have. Uh, someone who's interested in scientific and someone interested in sugar on a stick, right? And you're interested in maybe mate, or is there another one? Well, when I go to security, I, I show all the desktops. Okay. Yeah. So if you want to take that sheet and let me know what what are the applications that. Um, your spin, what, what would be an entry level application for your spin? What would be an expert application for your spin? Is there a one laptop per child application that's um, kind of affiliated um, that would be representative? I have them all listed on the back. Uh, what, what sort of hands on things could you do uh, with your spin? Could, could, uh, or even a contest. I was hoping to have somebody from the graphics and the games spins here because uh, we want to do games next year at Linux Fest. Is there any specialized hardware that your um, spin would use that would attract customers? Could you write those down? And is there any like unique swag that would go with uh, your spin? And, and is there any other conference or things that your spin would be applicable? And while you're doing that, I'm going to show you
Brian Moore put this together from the pictures he shot at our Linux Fest. So while you guys are writing down, you can watch this. Fedora also sponsored the game night, so that was very popular. And that's why I want to do games next year. He's mostly Brian on the guitar. He's pretty good at the guitars. Some people playing games, most people think of pizza. Yeah, pizza and beer and games. He was an old enough to drink that beer. Yeah, they. Gal who serves the beer checks mostly. He, he still was an old man. He is a baby. <laughs> against me. Yes. <laughs> So we were able to help out the Linux Fest because this is the game night is the day before the fest. We uh, help register people who got, got them their badges. So Saturday morning, um, most people already had their badges. They could walk right into the exhibit without uh, waiting in line. And it gave us an opportunity to give out t-shirts to uh, People, I mean, we, the only caveat we said you have to wear it tomorrow. So we got a lot of door t-shirts walking around the conference. A lot of conferences, I like to put them on, put it on right then. <laughs> you have to put it on there. And there I am autographing uh, 144 guitar picks. If you ever have a chance to come up to Bellingham in April, uh, come up and enjoy this conference. Where is it the largest in the Northwest? It's the largest in the Northwest, I'm sure. We have about 2,000 attendees. Uh, it's because Bill the, the is uh, works at Bellingham Technical College, and he's the one who sponsors it. Oh, uh, three <laughs> Yeah. Uh, it's probably, well, it, scale is probably the biggest on the West Coast. Well, yeah, I, I don't know how big scale, I mean. About 4,000. Oh, yeah. Scale would probably be bigger than LA. But, but not as much fun. Right. Uh, to me, this looks more fun than scale. Scale than these two corporate locked in. Yeah. An old guy playing with us. One lap pass. This must have been right before they let people in. Our booth. Our booth was so crowded that people came back on Sunday to, to talk to us. Side question, is it um, affordable? It's free. So uh, community exhibitors can get a six-foot table for free, provided they sign up in time. Uh, Fedora, we sponsor, so we we pay for a larger table. And uh, we also sponsor the game night. Uh, Fedora is pretty good about 
doing at least a five hundred dollar sponsorship as events if we have got people going to do it. Yeah. There's conference in uh, Philadelphia next weekend that I can't go to, but we have an all master one. So. Yeah, we had lots of guests really interested in trying out the, the effects, the guitar effects. No, we. if you asked to pick up the guitar, we'd let you do it. And we had a keyboard, too, and we had the little drum kit. This is Brian here. That's, that's my wife on the violin. Focusing on spins is that it would help drive down to application developers. If we, if you were giving an exhibit on your subject, and there was an application developer who had one of the applications that was on that spin, they may want to sit at the Fedora booth with you and talk about their application, and that's going to help build the bond between Fedora and the application developers, which I think is one of the Things we really need to work on. More computers. Okay, so uh, did anybody write down anything uh, for uh, your security spin? Well, scientific spin. Scientific spin. Um, I don't know the name off of the thing, but 
there's educational uh, scientific things that has different science. I'd have to look it up. Yeah. I was in five months. Well, that's okay. Uh, yeah. Elementary and stuff. Something like graphs. <laughs> maybe graphing functions and things like that. Yeah, and it's a whole suite. Oh. And so uh, expert applications on the scientific span? All the scientists I know use R, which is a little bit advanced. It's not, not graphical or fancy. It's but having R. it is a part of the spin, and so it's something you can show? It's, it's, it's in Fedora. It's well, I know it's in Fedora. I, I, I don't know how I would show that. <laughs> well, so it, it, it would be a thing when you're engaging a guest and, and they say, well, you know, I, we use our work. Oh, like this? Yeah. In there. And that's it. Yeah. That's what all the scientists use. There's some of the stuff. The art is a little bit. And that shit that's made for them. So there is some uh, on the OLPC, the Analyze um, app will actually do a FOIA analysis and, and show waveforms. I don't use OLPC. There's supposed to be one in every kit. That, well, there's that only two kits. Well, there's three kits. There's supposed to be three kits. <laughs> One's been seen in action. Uh, the US guys. Um, then, um, so, boy, hands scientific. On, for hands on, I would use Marvel. Um, oh, yeah. The, the globe thing. I don't know how you'd be able to, but I bet you could somehow just have like some buttons. Yeah. So this button says spin that way. I think you could use some hands on with Marvel. Um, yeah. Isn't there a maze game called Marvel? Yeah. Yeah. I I know exactly what it's one you're talking about. The marble app. And then um, a specialized hardware for scientific that um I I've always wanted to do this. I don't know, make a little Raspberry Pi or Fuzzy Pi with some hardware that was Oh. A lot of the scientists, they were using lots of clusters and stuff. Yeah. For computing and stuff. Like really Lego cluster of, you know. Eight raspberry pies. Yeah. Yeah, they work, uh -huh. they work good. Yeah. Okay. Or in those Jaguar boards, which found out they're Intel based. So, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay. And uh, yeah. any specialized swag that. Would appeal to the scientific community. Um, I I designed this ad that's really looks cool and it's stickers. A fedora ad. Okay, and then are there other conferences that are outside of Linux that this would appeal to? Well, it's the public education. One I go to is called Ethics and Physics. Oh. I, I, they don't do moves. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they, they are anti, not anti, they do not allow commercialization. Even though it's free. Well. Yeah, it's still a commercialization. Yeah, they, they don't want, they don't like um, uh, sales pitches. Okay. This is a, it's, a, it's a physics thing. We, we've managed to get back to Red Hat in there as a sponsor. But oh. That's taken, I don't know how many years. And, and do you have some in, input for uh, sugar? Uh, on, on all these questions? Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's more than sugar, but. Um, Maybe it's more than a spin. Um, but okay. But uh, it's, it's certainly uh, these, these questions are all perfect. I think about uh, some older OPC hardware that's actually not old at all. Um, it's uh, something that I'd like to show off. I'm not sure if something like Linux Best is the best place to show it off. But 
Yeah, yeah, exactly. But it might be actually so what what a few of us are doing is we're shoving uh, we're shoving a lot of uh, of gigabytes inside the old old PC hardware. Yeah. Before you walk out, what what about new version of what? Uh, new Rel PC. Oh, what do you mean by new version? There's oh, there's a, there's a tablet. A Ubuntu version coming out. Oh, uh, no, the new version of hardware is supposed to be going on. Oh, yeah. that's been out for a long time. Well, <laughs> and they're going to a tablet, too. Well, no, that tablet has yeah. been dumped. But the ARM hardware has been out for a long time. This is, a, this is ARM hardware. Yeah. I, I have one of each. <laughs> yeah, this I like the arm one. Yeah. Which arm do you have? I don't know. Screen or not? Yeah. not touch screen. Okay, yeah. The XO4 has touch screen on the arm. Oh. But the, the new version, uh, which I'm running away from very quickly, is only a bunch of Oh. And Windows. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's and, happened. And it has nothing to do with this. Yeah. Yeah. Toxic waste around the third world. 
and turn and you could make them into something. Yeah, turn it into an actual library for that village. So, yeah, so that sounds pretty well, we awesome. We have to answer all these questions because most people, when they see this, they fixate on the eight-year-old idea, and it takes them a lot. Sometimes we have to explain it five times. Yeah. This will now be broadcasting so instead of receiving. It takes yeah. people a long time to get that to your head. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Cool. Sounds like a great idea, but to know more about it. And then, do you have any? Um, did you want to talk about any spins? Well, uh, I'm thinking about making a spin. On uh, what? Amateur radio. Yeah, there you go. No, we don't. We've got amateur radio packages, but we don't have an amateur radio spin. Uh, I have made a Kickstarter that builds. I just need to get it going. I am a hand. Cool. Uh, I'm also a VE. I'll be one of the ones giving the test on Saturday. So study. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, what do you? Uh, I'll ask you later. And so that, that's a great idea. And and you have tons of places, tons of hands-on specialized equipment. Right. I can bring in <coughs> uh, like. Mm -hmm. A lot of times you have the Linux and the Hamshack guys show up, they set up the station, walk to the up a door box to it, do this one. Mm -hmm. So that, that would be one, one way to do it. Uh, that would cover that. Uh, just show people that, you know, uh, Ham Radio was the first social network. Yeah. And we also had the first text messaging. Yeah. <laughs> so, so uh, this is a last slide. I'm just asking you, think about how do you create a memorable experience mm -hmm. by using space? I want to thank you all for your great input. I enjoyed this conversation very much. I hope you got as much out of it as I did. How long have you been doing this? I've been doing Fedora for five years, and I've also done uh, CPIG or Seattle Python Research Group, and I, I also staff the um, uh, BSD booth for one year. And is it fair for us to, for, for I to flip around your initial what, what exactly tells you to do this constantly year after year? I, I just have so much fun. It's, it's a vacation for me. I, we drive up, I, I live in Seattle, so it's a 75 mile drive. Go up, set up, get to meet all these people. Uh, also, is there a formal aspect of the investor program that, that helps not I mean, it's not you know, something you have to report to the IRS, but isn't, isn't that part of the, I mean, some social recognition that you know, you're part of the rule and structure that you know, Yeah, there is that. You, you I, I am an investor. <laughs> Yeah, you get the like, cool badge. Oh, uh, you get the badge and you get your uh, mileage in your hotel room for free. Oh, yeah. I, you know, it's, to me it's such a vacation. Uh, I, I feel like a volunteer. I, I've never charged the door for the room or, or uh, You know, I, I you can usually tell the people that enjoy being in the room. This is the one that mm -hmm. like I was, I think, well, I think that's going to be a conference. Yeah. Uh, most of the time I do conferences. I'm paid to be at the conferences by